This video shows techniques to retrofit a fuel gauge for more accurate and reliable operation. The traditional fuel gauge uses a resistive sender providing either a 10 to 180 ohm, which is the European standard, or a 233 to 33 ohm signal, which is the American or North American standard. One of two types of senders is used. The first is with an arm and a float attached, and the second is a float riding up and down on a central tube. While adequate for displaying the level in a tank, they have two inherent problems. The first is they are mechanical devices and therefore susceptible to mechanical failures. The second is that it does not provide a calibrated signal to the gauge. So while these senders do an adequate job of measuring the depth of the fluid in the tank, the signal they provide to the gauge is not calibrated for tank geometry. So what's adequate for a tank with a rectangular cross-section is not adequate and in fact provides a false reading for a tank such as this. In this complex geometry, the amount of fuel at the top of the tank is far greater than that at the bottom. So a gauge that just reads level is going to misrepresent the amount of actual fuel left in a tank. SmartSwitch has addressed both of the shortcomings of the traditional resistive fuel sender. First they replaced the traditional float and resistor technology with a solid state industrial pressure sensor. These sensors measure the pressure at the bottom of the tank, which can be translated to a level. And there is a choice of locations for mounting these sensors. The sensor can be mounted in the bottom sidewall of the tank or in the fuel delivery line. Or if a standard resistive sender is being replaced, the sensor can be mounted in a top mount fixture, which exactly matches the mounting footprint of the traditional resistive sender. Pressure sensor's output is a value varying between 0 and 5 volts and provides resolution and accuracy to one tenth of an inch in tank level. One of the objectives of this retrofit is to maintain the existing fuel gauge, which only accepts a resistive signal from 233 to 33 ohms or 10 to 180 ohms. Therefore, an interface or converter must be provided between the pressure sensor and the gauge. Designing this interface provided an opportunity to offer a solution to the second shortcoming of the traditional systems. That is the lack of a calibrated signal based on tank geometry. The result was the design of the PR100 for analog gauges and the PR200 for interface to engine management systems which require a resistive input. In this concept diagram for analog gauges, the pressure sensor is connected directly to the PR100. Its 5 volt signal is converted to a resistance within the PR100. Using the same wires that were used with the resistive sender, now a calibrated signal is sent to the analog gauge. Here we show the mounting possibilities for the sensor. The top mounting to replace an existing resistive sender and the bottom mounting option for either sidewall or fuel line installation. Marine engine management systems often require an interface from a resistive fuel level sender. To provide that functionality the PR200 operates in exactly the same manner as the PR100. A modification of the internal circuitry allows it to interface directly to the fuel level sender input of, in this case, an NMEA 2000 network. The analog fuel gauge is driven digitally through the network. Here's a system we've put together to demonstrate the PR100's calibration and operation. The system consists, first of all, of the PR100 itself. Notice the jumpers which are used to switch the output 
between 10 to 180 ohms and 233 to 33 ohms. During installation, the pressure sensor leads are connected to the terminals as shown. However, for this demonstration, a rheostat simulates the inputs from the pressure sensors. And a voltmeter allows us to read the voltage being applied by the rheostat. Using the rheostat and voltmeter, we can calibrate the signal being sent to the fuel gauge for the exact tank geometry, giving an accurate reading of the actual amount of fuel left in the tank. Both two-point and five-point calibrations can be done. The two-point calibration is used for rectangular tanks and the five-point for more complex shapes, which are common for both fuel tanks and water tanks. In the two-point calibration, the top and bottom limits are set. However, for the five-point calibration, the volume for each one-quarter of the tank must be calculated. This is facilitated by using a specialized program to calculate the one-quarter tank depths. These depths translate directly to a voltage level, which is taken from this table. Here we show the steps for a two-point calibration. First, the zero depth, or empty setting, is set using the rheostat to set the voltage at approximately 0.5 volts. Then the program button is pushed, locking in the low setting. Next, the voltage is adjusted to approximately 2.4 volts, which is what we've arbitrarily selected as the full position. The program button is once again pushed to set the high level or full point of the tank. To demonstrate the operation of the fuel gauge in response to the changing voltage, we set the voltage level at one quarter tank and then one half tank. To perform a five-point calibration, the identical process used for the two-point calibration is used, setting voltages that correspond to the empty, one-quarter full, one-half, three-quarters, and full tank levels. This calibration process can be done offline prior to installation. This is in direct contrast to those systems that require emptying and filling of tanks to accomplish the calibration. What this means is that the service technician can come on board the boat with a fully calibrated system. And after installation of the new pressure sending unit, and after the connection of just seven wires, the system will be fully operational. In summary, here are the advantages of the Smart Switch tank level gauge retrofit. First, enhanced reliability. Our mechanical sending unit is replaced with a more reliable, industrial quality, solid state pressure sensor. Next, accuracy. Accuracy can be measured to levels within one tenth of an inch. True tank readings. Fully calibrated signals give actual readings of fuel or water levels and no more guesswork on how much is actually remaining in the tank. Installation is eased. New pressure sender installs in the same footprint as the old resistive sender, and only seven wires are used to connect to the PR100-200 terminals. It also uses existing gauge wiring, meaning no pooling of new wires. Startup is eased because the calibration can, can be completed prior to any work on the vessel, minimizing the onboard labor. The system will be operational upon completion a physical installation and application of power. Sales and technical support in North America for smart switch systems is provided by Marine Control Systems and global sales and technical support is provided by Smart Switch Technologies of New Zealand.